Hi guys, Steve Buckenroth here, talking a little bit about landing in a crosswind. On this video, we're gonna talk about left crosswinds. So let's say we have a left crosswind. Let's say we've chose to crab down final. If I'm crabbing down final, remember, it's nothing more than a heading change, a coordinated heading change, crabbing down final. But at some point, I've got to straighten that nose, and I do it by putting on the right rudder, straightening the longitudinal axis. But as I straighten that longitudinal axis, I'm now getting the air that's starting to move me this way. So I gotta put my left wing down. So again, I'm transitioning from a crab, aligning the longitudinal axis, putting the wing down, that's a side slip. Now, as I start the flare and I pull out power, this airplane wants to go left because the as I slow the airspeed down, the wind vector has a higher effect and it's pushing this airplane this way. However, as I remove thrust, we're moving torque. And as I remove torque, it wants to come back this way. So they kind of cancel each other out. So for that reason, left crosswinds are easier to land in than right crosswinds. Hope this helps you out. Have a great day.